Good evening, everyone. Good evening. So good to be here. Thank you for being here, Minister Shikli. Thank you. It's your first time, right, at the INC conference? Yes, it's the first time in Texas, and it's the first time at the, at the IAC conference. Thank you, the board of the IAC. Thank you, Shoam, for this wonderful event. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. I so already much. love it. Good. You're going <laughs> to love it so much, you, wanna go, you go, want to come back again next year, unless we go for another sixth round of elections. <laughs> no, no, no. We're not going to talk about elections tonight. We had enough of that. Thank God. Um, we'll try not to talk about politics. We'll try. We'll talk about unity, like Sham said before. But first, I'm sorry. Can I get a close up on the minister's socks? You gotta see this. I'm sorry. You gotta ah, see this. Yeah. <laughs> this. Oh yeah. Can you see this? Ah, it's it's begging. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what 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 those socks tell me. Mm -hmm. That it's time to begin. I'm sorry, I had to. Mm, it's I time had to, to begin. <laughs> nice, nice one. Okay, so I want to ask you, were you happy to get the Ministry of Diaspora Affairs? Yeah, happy, and also it's a huge responsibility laying on my shoulder now. And um, I see this conference as a great opportunity to learn, to listen, uh, before we set up strategy, goals, we need to learn, to gather data, and this is a unique opportunity to meet so many influence leaders from all across the United States, Israelis and not Israelis, and uh, it, it is really a huge opportunity. In, uh, in your opinion, what is the greatest challenge regarding the diaspora? Okay, so I will try to refer mostly to what's happening in the U.S. I think that we are facing um, a double challenge that uh, affects um, two dimensions. First, um, in Israel, but also here in the U.S., keeping Jewish identity strong and alive and vivid, it is a huge challenge. And the data we have based on research like the JPPI is that Jewish identity is getting weaker. Now, when Jewish identity is getting weaker, the result is automatically that the Zionist identity is getting weaker as well. Now, at the same time, the Zionist identity is being attacked seriously by uh, the BDS and all other um, organizations and states sometimes that try to delegitimize our rights as a people to have our own sovereign state in Eretz Israel. So the combination between, on the one hand, weakening of the Jewish identity, and on the other hand, the attack on the uh, right of the Jews to have their own state, that's a critical moment, a tough moment, and this is a very, very serious challenge that will affect dramatically Israel, the relationship between us and the U.S., and you, the audience here, you have a significant role in changing the course of history. And that's why I came here. I didn't come here for vacation. I came here because we have together a mutual ta task, a huge task for the future of the Jewish people. Thank you. Since there are so many Israelis here, um, we'd like to hear from you, what is the role of the Israeli-American community in your opinion? So first is to be a community. And it takes a huge effort to be a community, to be a vivid community. And I think that what we're seeing right here, right now, is a huge effort of individuals who take responsibility for the people of Israel and create these events and enormous amounts of activities, leadership program, uh, institutions, education. And th that's, that's, I think, is the most significant role to begin with, to have these communities. And obviously, identity starts at home. It starts in Ve'igadeta lebincha. We have now the Parashat Shavua with the greatest stories 
of Exodus. So it starts with Abba Ve'ima and the family, but then you need a community. We cannot go and skip the phase of the community, and I think what's happening here and the role of the IAC in building Israeli, vivid Jewish communities here in the United States, that's a huge thing that is happening, and it can help us a lot, and it can also help Jewish, Jewish communities to better understand Israel, to better understand the challenges that we are facing. You, the audience here, Israelis who live in America, can explain to, the, to our fellow Jews here in America what, is, what it is like to be an Israeli, what are the challenges, and they can also be the, really the edge of fighting anti-Semitism and fighting BDS in campuses and all across the United States. Here, here. There is a lot of alarm among American jury with mm -hmm. the establishment of this government. Yes. What do you say to the Jewish community? There is a large alarm in the left, it's obvious, and it affects dramatically uh, also the Jews who live here in America. We had election, the result was crystal clear, uh, we were very uh, honest with our agenda, um, and it is our responsibility to follow this agenda, and it does not mean that we're not listening. We do listen, and I spent hours today, yesterday, and to listen to Jewish leaders and what they have to say about the law overturn, about the judicial changes, and everything. We're listening to the criticism, we're listening to their concerns, we care about it, and I think that uh, one, maybe one tip is less uh, Aretz and New York Times, and more common sense and tachless, what the government is actually is doing. That's it. We are proud to be Zionists. We are proud to be, uh, I, me myself, I'm proud to represent this government. Uh, that's, this is the choose of Am Israel. This is the choose of, 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 of the people of Israel. And uh, I think it's okay also to respect it. A question that I think many Jewish uh, communities here would, would want to ask, mm -hmm. so I have the opportunity to do it for them. Yeah. Would the grandchild clause mm -hmm. be canceled, and do you think it should be? Okay, so now we are going uh, deep into details, and that's okay. Um, first of all, no one, no one is going to cancel the law of return, which is fundamental for the state of Israel. Israel will always remain safe heaven for every Jews everywhere on earth. And we are making efforts in the diaspora ministry, not just to care about the Jews when they need to come to Israel, but also to take uh, steps to uh, help Jewish communities to protect themselves. There are courses, uh, uh, equipment, etc., etc. Now, about the grand children chapter, which is chapter 4a within the, the law. The challenge is as such. On 1990, 93% of the, the Olim that came from former uh, uh, Soviet Union states uh, were, uh, were Jews. They were connected uh, to Judaism. In 2002, it was 40%. In 2020, only 28% were uh, related to any form of Judaism. And that's a serious challenge for the state of Israel. Not one more data that should be considered. 41% of them leave after a year or two. So we have a, an issue here. And we're not saying we are about to cancel uh, chapter four tomorrow morning. That's <coughs> not what's going to happen. What's going to happen is there's gonna be a committee to determine how can we deal with this serious challenge and as you see when you go into the details that's a challenge we need Israel to be a strong Jewish state and we need to tackle this uh, challenge and we're gonna do it slow we're gonna do it by listening to all to, to every aspect and also I had a conversation with both um, the president and the Prime Minister before I came here no one is going to cancel anything tomorrow morning we're going to listen and we're going to do it 
very, very responsibly, and I think we can relax and we can rely on this government to do the best for the Jewish people. Unfortunately, our time is up. I have so many other questions. I want to thank you very much, Minister so Shikli. That. And I also, I hear that your father is here. Nahon, I, you know what? Uh, that's very uh, <laughs> moving. Uh, you know what? Where is he? I don't know where is Abba. But, uh, Abba. <laughs> so, you know, one thing about identity. My father, when I was a child, he, he told me, I don't, I, I don't care if you'll be religious or not religious, but I do care that you will be a serious and devoted Jew. And I hope I'm not disappointing you, my father. And uh, my father, he also he made Aliyah uh, from France, and he's for me, is my private Avram. So thank you, Abba. That's very nice. Thank you, Minister Shikli. Good evening. Good evening.